Hello wonderful people, Groovy Mom here. Today I am going to be taking it with me on a little adventure. I'm going to be using the Birch Benders Just Add Water Pancake Mix and I'm going to be doing like a little remix with it and making biscuits. I've never done this before, I've just thought about it. Um, so it's not going to be perfection, but it is going to be a trial and error and you can come along and watch. Okay, so we're going to start out just by taking the pancake mix and I, I did about three quarters of a cup to a cup of just the mix and put it in the bowl. So if you haven't made biscuits, it's, it's simple enough for someone who hasn't made biscuits. So then here I take some butter and basically when you make biscuits you take cold butter. I did not do that because I was being kind of lazy and I just wanted to try this. Um, so I actually took some room temperature butter and I'm just kind of cutting it in with my hands. I just don't like getting butter under my fingernails and in my rings and all that stuff so I use gloves sometimes. And my son is making a sandwich behind me so we share space. Anyway um, so I'm just kind of like working the butter into the mix just like you would for a regular biscuit. Um, probably if I would have took some cold butter, I would have had a little bit of a dis different result, but either way, whatever, you're just kind of looking for it to just, just work it in. You're looking for it to, to get kind of uh, a crumbly, um, feel to it. This mix isn't going to be the same if you're making regular biscuits. I noticed like it doesn't get that like, like sandy kind of feel, but you can kind of tell when it's all mixed in and you know, as you're watching this video you can see maybe I did it for like a minute 90 seconds something like that um, I wasn't super de duper um, scientific about it okay so next I took maybe a quarter cup of water and I probably drizzled about a tablespoon or maybe two um, in there and I'm just kind of working that in kind of waiting for it to get a little bit doughy um, as I'm making this I'm I'm noticing distinct differences between making regular biscuits, but I'm just trying to kind of make a, a bread form of some sort so that I can put egg and cheese and sausage inside of it. Uh, so here I'm adding a little bit more water. It's getting kind of sticky. Um, you'll notice later in the video, I actually went and added a little bit more water because once I tried to form it into um, a little patty to put in the skillet, I noticed it just really wasn't wet enough. So here we've got, I put my skillet on, I think at four or five, so like medium high, and I just put some oil in it. I was kind of trying to determine, I had to like look up in Google making skillet biscuits because I really never made them before. Um, but the whole thing that gave me the idea was making the pancakes because I thought, gosh, these pancakes, I could just put like biscuit materials in between and make biscuits. So um, anyway, so I just went with regular oil. Uh, and then here I am making the patty and I was trying to form it and it just it wasn't coming together um, well and I'm kind of glad I added a little more water so I would say to that sorry I didn't measure but like three quarter cup to a cup of I mean basically it almost seemed like it was the same ratio as pancakes did it I don't know I'd have to look at the back um, <clears throat> but so I had about a three quarter cup to a cup of the mix and then about a third of a quarter probably a quarter cup of water um and i got three biscuits out of this you'll see at the end that i probably should have just done two because my biscuits were kind of small but alas live and learn so i'm just forming forming them and popping them into the pan Now I do think I had the heat up a little too high. I was also um, a little bit negligent in my watching of the biscuits. Um, so the other side's a little darker, but no big deal. I, I did put, I did turn it down a little and put a lid over it for a little bit just to make sure that they cooked. But this part I'm just showing you because, <laughs> I don't know, just, just to show you <laughs> something stupid I did. I threw an egg in here right after 
and it got all the burn from the biscuits and so it was like super ugly and for the sake of making things at least look edible like desirable to eat i did not use this egg however i did eat this egg and it was not bad oh the wonders of editing videos so here i go with my fresh new beautiful egg and i'm just kind of trying to make it small enough shape so that it fits on my little tiny biscuit that i made that would be the other thing that i probably would change is just make bigger biscuits but i said that and whatever so now you can see this egg looks so much better than the last one the last one's sitting on that plate back there but i'm going to get rid of it in a second it tasted fine like i said i ate it because i couldn't i couldn't bear to throw it out um, so now I'm just going to put my cheese on there and put a lid on there so it gets nice and melty. Please ignore the fact that I'm still wearing my pajamas. It is a breakfast sandwich, right? Wink, wink. Okay, so now I'm taking the biscuit and I just wanted to cut it. I wasn't sure if I would just take two biscuits and plop it on the outside of my sandwich, um, but they actually cut up pretty nice. I thought that they were going to like fall apart and crumble and all that stuff. So I'm cutting up another one just to make sure that it wasn't a complete fluke. And voila, it's cut in like butter, like butter. So that worked out really well. I'm really happy with the way these cut. So then I um, am able to kind of, I don't want to say eat less, but you know, like it, it did come out with three biscuits. Again, I would have made two. Hindsight, I would have made two and it would have made them a little bit larger. Um, so here we go with the sausage that I cooked in the microwave. Yum, yum. And then going to top that off with Senor Huevos and the cheese. And that's it. It's kind of laughing because the little top is so small. But yum, look at this. You guys, it looks good. So I'm going to give you one more little look before we cut it this made me nervous too because i thought for sure these biscuits were going to fall apart and it didn't very happy i'm very pleased with the workability of this dough um i had a little you can see i had a little trouble cutting through to the bottom but that's fine i i love the way it kept together look at that it's a sandwich it's an actual breakfast sandwich like seriously not bad not bad. Ooh, and then I the cheese started dripping off, so I wanted to show you that. I'm just winding it around, and I do not have my herded at all, so I'm avoiding showing too much of myself. But hi, there I am. I'm going to take a bite, let you know what I think. Between all this, someone decided he needed to take a nap, so here we are together. Cuddle times and breakfast sandwiches. Yay! All right, so some people like to see the finished product and like to see you eat. Some people don't. So you can just kind of skip through this. If you don't, I will tell you that it was um, good. I Like I said, I really like the consistency of it, for one thing, and the way it held together. Had to take a sip of my coffee because, you know, if you're having a proper breakfast sandwich, you want to try your coffee and make sure that it tastes good with it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so I'm just giving you another shot of the sandwich and the nice hunk of cheese. There's only one slice of cheese on here, but I think because the um, biscuit's kind of small or what, I don't know. I guess because I melted it, I don't know. But it was very good. Like, you can see how well it's holding up together. I'm doing double duty, rocking the baby. I'm saying, yeah, pretty good. Mm, maybe not 100% good. But here's what I will tell you. So I have to talk a little bit quiet because the baby is now officially down for a nap. I would have to say that it's a pretty decent uh, remix of that, of it's not biscuit, of the pancake mix. It's a pretty um, easy way to use it um, if you're looking for like a paleo bread and you don't. What I really wanted to do is really keep it as simple as possible. Like I do think there's other things that I could add to give it a different consistency, but I really wanted to stay as close to whatever I had on hand, whatever anybody had on hand to make it. And so that's why I just went with the butter and the water because the pancakes are just to add water. So if you mix in a little butter, like you would put on top of a pancake and add water, basically you have the same ingredients. So it's something you could do when you're camping, which is a super yay because I know, especially if you're trying not to eat bread, it's really hard. I mean, you could use that for a hamburger bun. Now, I really like the consistency of it. I really like how it held together as far as a sandwich goes. The negative, I will say, is that there's 
a, there is there is a flavor to it so it's a little bit sweet so there's there's kind of, it's I mean I think it would still be good with a burger but there's just a little bit of a flavor to it that might not appeal to some people like you don't want kind of a sweeter bread so that might be the downside you can maybe add a little bit of salt to it if you wanted to or I don't know I just don't know I guess I'd have to play with a little bit more but if you're just looking to use that mix in other ways but pancakes I would say that little biscuit things um, pretty good alternative so I hope that helped. I hope you liked it. If you've done any kind of remixes with the Birch Benders, I would love to know. I'll probably play with it some more, but that's one thing I really wanted to try. Um, and so I'm glad I did. And it was definitely, definitely doable. And I will for sure uh, be doing it again. All right. Thanks for watching. If you, if you like this, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, la di da di da And if you haven't seen my a review of the pancake mix in its true form then you can go ahead and take a look see up there maybe I'll try to put it up there for you um, and you can see that all right thanks for watching peace be with you